Greetings everyone and welcome to another First Impressions gameplay video where I uh, pick up a controller for the first time and try a game for the first time that I've never played before. For the first time. So this is the first time I'm playing whatever it is you're seeing me play. Uh, so today, you know, carrying on with sort of the fantasy adventure theme, uh, I got quite a few here, uh, some of which I'm pretty sure are RPGs, others are more sort of action-oriented. I thought today we, we, we would go we, 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 we would go with something a little more action-oriented, uh, at least judging from the XMB screen here. Take a look. We have Asura's Wrath. <clears throat> Sorry. Asura's Wrath, which um, I don't really know much about other than what we can see in the little thumbnail there. Uh, looks like kind of an actioner, I'm guessing, uh, from what I, little I recall from the description, some guy's been wronged and is out for revenge, and I'm guessing he's very powerful and angry, and probably named Asura, and wreaking his wrath upon people. <laughs> Alrighty, so without any further ado, let us check out Asura's Wrath for the very first time here. Uh, now, this being first impressions and never having played it before, expect suckage, because I'll be learning as we go. Uh, but that's kind of the point of these first impressions videos anyway, is to see how easy it is to just pick up the controller and play. Right, so... Alright, here we go. <clears throat> and just to, you know, keep the variety flowing, uh, most first impressions videos are just demos as well, but you probably all know that by now. I do play full games as well, but uh, I like to play piles of demos sometimes just to get a nice variety, you know, try out a whole bunch of stuff. Get a nice little taste of each one. Unreal. Probably the single most used game engine in the universe. <coughs> Bink Video. Speed Tree. Wow, enough companies involved here? And Capcom. All right. And CyberConnect. Holy shit, man. I don't think I've ever seen that many logos at the beginning of a game before. All right. Asura's Wrath demo. Press start. It seems really quiet. Oh. So... Okay, apparently we can play episode 5 and episode 11. Okay, well I guess we'll start with episode 5. It's kind of like Star Wars, we're starting with the later episodes. <clears throat> Attack to fill out the burst gauge. Press R2 once the burst gauge is full to activate burst. Uh, okay. Lock on to multiple targets in the distance and shoot them all at once. Lock on display. Dragging the reticle over YZN allows you to lock on to multiple spots. Once you've locked on, press A to release the blast all at once, giving your burst gauge a boost. Lock on fire. Attack, combo attack, jump, and fire. Rapid fire, hold. Combo attack, press repeatedly. Okay, so we got attack, we got jump, fire, lock on fire. All right, well, we'll do it a shot here and see what we see what we got. <laughs> I'm angry. Witness the power bestowed upon us by our priestess, your very daughter, Mithra. My daughter. Mithra's power. Hold your horses, jeez. Uh. Oh, yes. X axis. Inverted. Thank you. 
And we'll keep that. No, no, no. That's, that's fine. Machine control type. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Okay, so last second. I'm going to boost the volume on uh, X split here a little bit because it doesn't seem I can do it in the game. It seems really quiet, don't you? Don't you think so? Oh, yeah, you can barely even hear it. Let's crank it up! <clears throat> Alright, there we go. And we'll turn me down a little bit. There, that should be a little more balanced, hopefully. Alright. So we're doing a rolling start, just like Daytona USA. Here we go. Yeah, got it, thanks. <laughs> oh no! He's gonna butt slam me! <laughs> like how he was so zen when he landed on me with his butt. Well, damn. Did I win? Can you feel it? She suffers to atone for your sins and to bring about the Great Reaver! <laughs> oh, it's such a tragedy. <laughs> if you care for your daughter, then kneel before me. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> awesome! I am one with many fists! <laughs> Who are you talking to? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright. sure what I'm doing, but... Okay. Was a good spot to have an excellent. Sent him into space. <clears throat> Damn. Do you think a mere monkey like you can defeat a god? Behold. Well, yeah. I shall show you our true power! Hmm. Mantra Reactor! Release! I call upon the power of the Mantra! A many Padme whom? Seven deities, I am an absolute being that protects this world and its mortals. Well, damn. Okay. Guessing that's it for episode five. And we get some art. Oh, no, never mind. 
<laughs> that was the eye catch. It's like an anime episode. Logan, <laughs> why is it? Asura the traitor. Asura the destructor. You do not belong in this world. Mm -hmm. Fight you with anger. <laughs> Holy crap. Tubby. Continued. <laughs> Thank you for playing. Interesting. Well, it, it's not quite what I was expecting. I, I expected to sort of a straight up third person actioner, but uh, I, I, I very much get an anime vibe to it, um, as, as I'm sure you do as well. Um, like, it feels like one of those super powered beings versus other super powered beings types of uh, types of anime you know uh, hero against insurmountable odds fighting to right the wrongs and things um, and having ridiculously over-the-top powers um, 
So I definitely like that aspect of it. I, I'm intrigued by the story part of it, in particular. In terms of the gameplay, uh, well, as you probably noticed, it's pretty much all quick time events. I mean, there was a very little section in the middle there that I was able to, you know, fight some guys. And actually, to be honest, when the controls were more kind of loose like that, where you could shoot yourself, I found a little bit awkward to control, like the whole targeting and shooting thing. I, I wasn't quite sure if I was doing it right, and it just felt kind of awkward. Um, the quick time parts were fine, I mean, pretty straightforward, you know, push the button when they say to push the button, and uh, push it when it's as close to the thing as possible to get, you know, better results, so. Alright, so I think we'll call this the end of part one. We'll check out episode 11 next time, so, uh, yeah. So until then, thanks for joining me for this First Impressions episode of episode five of Asura's Wrath. Uh, the demo, and uh, we'll see you next time for the conclusion with episode 11, the final lesson. Like, really, are they going to give us the end of the story in the demo? Well, I guess we'll find out. Uh, until then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you next time. Quick thank you to my Patreon sponsors. Big thanks to Kyle Pellegrin, my current highest level sponsor. And uh, yeah, please do consider becoming a Patreon sponsor because it just means I can do this stuff more often for you. Alrighty, I'll see you next time. Until then, thanks for watching, and sayonara. <laughs>